Greetings to all. So we present our project e-trike. So our project is basically a three-wheeled scooter. So now looking into the problem statement of this is that we want to do something to reduce the accident rates. So going through the surveys, we found out that there is a huge amount of accidents which occur due to stability loss. So now our three-wheel design deals with the stability loss. So now uh, during accidents, our vehicle prevents itself from falling off. So now which basically gives an upper hand to the rider. So now the reason why we chose this problem statement is we just wanted to do something to reduce the accident rates for a social cause. Next is that, so we hope our design helps, helps this problem to a greater extent. As a part of making a clear solution, we redesigned a two-wheeler and making it entirely different by adding two wheels in the front. Having two wheels in the front or rear is known as trike. As we are making an electric scooter, we named it as e-trike. In our design phase, we did a CAD model and analyzed it we finalized our project and then we started working on it. In addition to that, we introduced a new technology into that, that is leaning multi-wheel technology. Where it consists of two wheels at the front and a wheel at the rear. The front two wheels are present on two different axes but on the same plane so that it works independently. The main uh, calculation required for this uh, leaning suspension is uh, the Ackerman angle. So our team initiated uh, studying about the Ackerman angle. We finally came to a solution uh, which angle is uh, required for this uh, construction. And along with this, uh, we also made a study on the centripetal force, turning radius and other basic forces which is required for a project construction. The main advantage of using this uh, leaning uh, suspension is that it increases the stability in uh, many difficult conditions such as uh, uh, cornering, slippery roads, etc. Our vehicle doesn't solve the solution, only stability. It also solves the another solution like pollution. Yes, we have used a electric motor instead of IC engine in it and the complex system of a controller helps to maintain the stable speed at any range. We have uh, inbuilt a uh, 1 kilowatt of hub motor and 30 amp battery where the battery takes just 3 and a half hour to 4 hours to complete its full charge and it takes just approximately 1.44 units where the total cost of that is just 8.23 rupees and the controller system helps to maintain a stable speed. Problem which we faced during the fabrication of this vehicle is that we didn't have a clear idea uh, whether to make a new fabrication or to buy an existing vehicle and remodify it. So after deep discussion with our seniors and our mentors and our faculty mentors, uh, we came up with the solution of redesigning an existing vehicle. Uh, so this is an existing vehicle, we are redesigned it into the new model. Uh, for the CAD design of a vehicle, we didn't have an uh, idea or a clear solution how to uh, how to start the design or how to where we should start the design. Uh, so even after the after many deep discussions with the team members and our, and our mentors, uh, we came up with a different solution of placing the battery, motor, and every, every other thing. And finally, we came up with this. Uh, so we had interactions with the different HODs. Uh, they gave a clear idea on how to turning radius of the vehicle, the steering angle and the battery calculation, motor calculation and every other thing. Uh, with the help of all members, we finally created this project.